Stay a while and listen. Hello, welcome back to the Freak Show. Bumpy McSquiggums here. I want to thank you all for joining me as I continue with my Let's Play of, you guessed it, Immortal Unchained. We are here. We have guns. We have weaponry. We just saved. There are things that want to kill us. There are things that might not want to kill us. There are teleporty guys. There are blue angels. There's a lot. There's a lot of horrible, awful things that exist in this world, and we're going to have to deal with probably a whole bunch of them. Well, this is a very odd path. Hopefully there's some payoff at the end. Oh, there is. Sweet. Uh, okay, well, I, I say sweet. I feel like that didn't seem to be a whole lot. It's fine. There was something, okay? If there was nothing, I would have been much more upset. But there was definitely a thing. My hand itches, which is bad. Okay. We're good. Okay. Oh, that's not good. Alright, buddy. I missed the headshot, and then I missed the secondary shot, which would have probably still killed him. Oh, hi. Oh, he gonna burn. He gonna burn. He burn. Let me guess. Blue Angel's gonna pop out somewhere? Where are you at? Yep, I knew it. I knew it was coming. You, you just, sometimes you get a sense of these things. You're like, alright, they're gonna do something terrible here. Also, I know I'm backtracking toward where we originally started at, so... There was a medium chance that we were getting in range of that last blue angel that we fought. So it was it was a calculated guess. Is there any reason to be up? Oh, oh boy. Woo! Well, that scared me. I'm like, is there any reason to be up here? I'm like, it looks like it just leads over. It's like another path to the same area. And then, surprise... Alright, I wasn't expecting that one. Alright, well, we're getting some... Ooh, a legendary assault rifle. Alright. Well, we don't use assault rifles, but... Okay. Oh, hello. Didn't see you there inside the shrubbery. Thank you for shooting at me. I so greatly appreciate that. Appreciate a little less when blue angels are trying to murder me again. So this whole bridge is a trap. Okay. Good to know. Hoping nothing spawns to eat me while I'm trying to decipher what's going down. Surprise, something spawned to eat me. And there was nowhere to dodge. I dodged into a wall that I was against. Not not my greatest moment. Whatever. The Queen personally inspects the creations of her factories to ensure their quality, unsatisfactory specimens are destroyed and reprocessed. Uh-huh. There's something over there. I'll take it. At least we're getting some basic components and things now. Alright. He just stood there and let me shoot him in the face. Alright, I assume there's going to be some more blue angels popping out. Yep. Ow. My dodging with that is getting worse. I'm not a fan. It's supposed to get better, not worse, as we go. That is the door that we can go through. Okay. Alright, what else? What else? We handling business. We getting things done. They's trying. They're failing. They're really failing, but they're not, you know, it's not for a lack of trying that they're failing. Alright, I'm gonna heal because, you know, I should probably do that because I will die if I don't. This leads me to the door. The door leads me to what precisely? I do not know. Something terrible, no doubt. Why do I feel like this room... What? 
Is that a... Is that a blue angel? What, is he on the other side of the door? Why is he spawning before I'm even there? It was! What the heck was that? Okay. Well. Surprise. Oh, we're getting near a boss. Oh, we're getting near a boss. Oh, boy. This is not a fun boss. This is not an enjoyable boss. This might be the bane. No, it's, it's not the worst that we ever fight, but it's not going to be fun. So, I feel like... I'm on the... Trying to do that all slick like, and that did not work. So see, when you when you miss, when you're slightly off, things go horribly, horribly wrong. And the guy makes you look like an idiot. He just runs circles around you. You can't seem to maneuver correctly. It's quite bad. But when you're on point, they seem like the easiest things in the entire universe to kill. So it really depends on how good or bad you're doing at any particular moment. Oh, this is this was a nightmare for me to get through. Let's see if we can one shot it this time around. I still think I got oh, I still think I got lucky the last time I killed it. And I'm okay with me getting lucky again if I manage to kill it. Due to luckiness, I'm fine with that. We're almost done with the blue angels. Alright, what's going down? Come on. I know there's something going to happen. I know there's going to be something going on. We're good. We're good. Sorry, I am. I'm also. I'm a little bit quieter than I normally am because I'm listening. I'm trying to hear at the the exact moment something spawns in to murder my face, so I can hopefully deal with it without dying in a panic. The souls of her servants are bound within uh, splinters of their queen's crystalline heart. These souls, these soul crystals, shiver and radiate with the twisted power bound within. That was a really hard thing for me to say for some reason. It's like Queen Crystal. Cur it's very a lot, lots of hard C's and K sounds, and it just was like, Ugh. mouth not want to work. Ugh, hoax smash. Oh gosh. Thank you. I feel like that was an excessive range. Also, there's a trap there, and that's what freaked me out originally. Another trap here. Hey, an armor shrine. Cool. Hey, frost damage has been reduced. There's gotta be one more blue angel, right? Like one more? No? Okay, what's this? In giant furnaces, souls are severed from the anchors of the living world, be it body or faith, in an excruciating process. Well, that sounds painful and satisfying. Literally. Oh, there's a trap there somewhere. Oh, right there. Okay. See, I told you, I'm listening. I got a microchip and a small ammo pack, which is good because I think I'm going to need my small ammo packs. I haven't put them on my bar yet. I, that's going to be a thing I have to do. Okay, so I know two things about the upcoming battle. One, I'm not going to enjoy it. Which sucks. And two, it's going to be awful and we're going to hate everything about it. Which is pretty much the same thing. But I actually know two real things. Um, bosses are going to be really difficult. He's going to spawn guys. So, the difficult things, just uh, my thoughts on the boss. 
spawning guys what he does and right over there there's a doorway that leads to a save point which I may or may not want to go and attempt to unlock Lord in heaven. Oh god. That went so much worse than I intended. It's okay. It's okay. We're gonna run over here and we're gonna meet up with these guys. It's gonna be fine. We're gonna kill them off first. Though there should be like two or three more. I don't know where they're at. There's one. Let's do another one. And there's the final one. Oh, oh, there's one more beyond that even. Okay. <sighs> one problem solved. We still have the boss. What we have to solve. We still have the dude that's standing over there shooting at us to solve. issue that we have to deal with right now. Now, we have a new problem, though. The boss is stuck, and I don't like that. Now, I have options. I said I can run for that door. Oh, also, he does this. Spawns the blue angels, by the way. Not super scary if they get close to you, especially with the fire hammers that we have. Kind of makes them a non factor. But again, boss is kind of scurry. So, ooh, he shot through that. I think I'm going to go for the save point. Uh, actually, I think I'm not going to go for the save point. I was going to go for the save point. I decided not to. I think what I'm going to do instead is I'm going to try to lob a grenade. And I'm going to try to shoot him. And it's not going to work, because he put his silly shield back up. I'm out of grenades. Oh, that's bad. That's real bad. Okay. We're fine-ish. I mean, I'm definitely struggling here. Gonna need a bit more ammo. Need to make sure I don't get hit by that ever again. so many problems. I'm sorry guys and girls. I'm really struggling with this a lot. Alright. I think we're okay. Ooh. I don't know how many more things he's gonna spawn. 
or if he's gonna spawn any. But we finally got our first hits on him. Oh, looks like he's he's on the move now. Good. A little bit better when we actually hit him. I feel like he actually summons a finite number of uh, bad guys. I wasn't sure before, so like it was always try to kill him before the blue guys came out, which rarely worked. Now it's just a little bit easier. The downside is since we did so much running around, we don't actually know what his health is looking like right now. So could be another ten shots, could be another two, could be I'm just gonna keep missing. It looks like I'm going to keep missing. I mean... Uh, geez, stop with your weird movement, man. Why do you keep stomping your foot? Just sit still and take the shots to the face, okay? Not that difficult. He's almost done, at least. I'd say two more shots, one more shot. There it is, we did it. The victory is ours. Despite all of his shenaniganery, all of his attempts, all of his effort to murder our souls, which he put a lot forth. He did, he put a lot forth. We did a lot of dodging, we did a lot of avoidance, and we did a lot of awesome, and we managed to survive it, and I'm okay with that. We just got a Viridian Prey Stalker and a whole bunch of other random stuff that I can't read in time. I wish that would stay on the screen a bit longer, but that's okay. The Queen of the Dead planted a piece of her heart in the ground, and from it grew the crystals used to bind souls to the physical plane. Unbound souls burn in engines designed to restore the power she lost when splintering her heart. Now, there's a lot of people who like tear their hearts out. I feel like, like that. That's not a necessarily a good thing. That reminds me, shouldn't there be like boogie boys coming? Yeah, they're over there. You guys see me? No? Alright, I'll deal with these guys first. Just gonna walk away after we do that to you. You're down. Hey, boogies. thought you had something going on there. You thought you had me. You did. And kudos to you for having those thoughts. I mean, staying positive is very important in this day and age. But, yeah, no, it didn't really work out for you. Got a bunch of Promethium Edicts. So, I mean, that's cool, like, I guess. Alright. Um... As much as I want to continue to push forward, I don't think that I can, in good conscience, just leave this here. So, there's a couple things I'd like to try. Door needs a key. So one of those things I'd like to try is going here and hitting travel. Confirm. Now, I learned this at the very end. Again, I haven't finished it yet, but I'm close. But near the end of my, uh, my live stream of the game... And that's, you should talk to the people inside of your little um, base of operations here a bit more frequently than I have, i.e. ever. I talked to them like once and I was like, oh, cool, they're here. That's what they had to say. There wasn't really anything else to do or, nope, there is. There's other things. So I'm going to come over here. I'm going to talk to this little gal here. Even here, she has managed to spread forth her death. Her hunger for revenge knows no bounds. She cares not for her creation. Fair enough. She desires only to cover all in her veil of death. But even then, I question whether she will truly be satisfied. Cool. What is that you're carrying? Uh, a feather. Feather, apparently. May I see it? Hmm. 
Um, sure. I can't select it with my keyboard. All right, that's fine. This is the mark of a warden. I remember only the greatest of warriors were given one of these from the hand of Naro himself. Cool. It is a mighty gift. You have my gratitude. You're welcome. Allow me to give you this in return. Oh? A prison depths key. Now, that might actually unlock the thing that we're in. That's why I actually came back here. Only a select few humans were granted ascension. The Prime valued honor and strength above all else. And the humans valued the Prime as greatly. It was a grand thing to live among them. But then, disgrace cast out, forever falling. Okay. Memories surface occasionally. Cool. Hidden in a veil of mist. Or uncool. Faint, but enough to be seen. Hesitation overwhelms me, but possess these memories I must. I belong here, do I not? Sure. It is the only safe place left. Yeah, I agree. That crystal blade you hold. What? It is known as Kale's knife. Okay. Pray consider giving it to me. Um. Okay, sure, yeah, what? I know this blade. He kept it at his side, always. Who's Kale? I assume you found it on one of them. I understand. I don't. I expected this. How could I not? Thank you. I. Here, take this. Uh, okay. Well, who who's Kale? Well, apparently she basically gives you a bunch of quests, or you turn in random items you find to her, and she gives you rewards. I guess so. There's a little bit of a quest system in this. Very vague, as uh, these games tend to be. It was said the knife reminded him of his father. Over the years, he shaped the crystal. At last, he managed to weld it together with a knife, attempting to use it to escape. Looking back now, it was foolish to think there was any escape. Yet, I was able to get out. Surprise! I still hear the screams. I never stop. I couldn't. My heart is heavy. My soul still burdened. I may be clear of the pit, but the darkness has not left me. Well. Being here now, left to think of how far I have fallen. I had hoped there would be more. Than this misery. You're alive there and you're not being no tortured. There is no escaping misery. It reaches out even now. How can it not? The end times are upon us. There is no stopping what must happen. I suppose there's not a lot of food. So, like, you could be hungry. But, you know, you're not being tortured. You're not in the icy wastes. There's probably oxygen here because you're not dead. So, like, you know, things could be worse. Should I simply accept who I am now? I'm, yes. I think she said that before. Yeah, okay. So that's it. So we turned in some quests. Make sure you're talking to Bren throughout. It seems that she's one of the main quest giver, item taker people. Um, yeah. I don't know what to think about you, Aras. There is no other way. The beasts must be found. Just keep, keep End see their scourge upon the cosmos. Bring me their hearts. Yeah, you seem to keep, you know, pushing us forward. That's fine. You seem more like a plot device than anything else, but we'll see. We'll see. Maybe you have some a greater purpose in the end. Anyway, let's go over here. Let's see if we can't grab anything. Epic assault rifle. We got a legendary assault rifle. We don't need no dang epic baby piece of garbage. Come on. Give me something good. No, it's fine. Anyway, guys and gals, I think that's going to do it for this particular episode. I'm just going to run around the area and see if there's anything else to do. I think we'll talk to the giant floating head in the next episode. And then we'll we'll basically teleport back where we were just at. We'll do the leveling up and all that wonderful fun stuff right there. And it will be great. It will be glorious. It will be wonderful and sweet, sweet, nice styles. Anyway, folks, until then, my name is Bumpy McSquiggums. Thank you for stopping by the Freak Show, and I will see you later.